Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. But uh, I guess as of late, they've been kind of 45 Drives Tech Teases as we've been showing you uh, the, the new work that we've been putting in on our Houston slash cockpit modules. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you saw the Navigator, then you saw the cockpit benchmarks. And this week, we're talking about, well, something you guys have seen before, but uh, we've added some new quality of life and a couple new features to it. The ZFS Cockpit Manager, I said that in order, the Cockpit ZFS Manager. All right, so the Cockpit ZFS Manager. So uh, we've shown this before. A lot of people have seen this. A lot of people are using this out in the field right now. Um, if you haven't, go uh, go check out uh, the other video we've did um, um, when we uh, where I go over what the Cockpit ZFS Manager is and what it does. Um, so as I touched on that video on that, this was we have forked off of. Uh, the original author, Optimans, who made the Cockpit ZFS Manager. We forked off and we've been putting some quality of life and other features onto it. So um, anyway, enough with the words. Let's take a look at it. We'll jump over the screen and I'll show you some of the cool stuff we've put into it. All right, so here we are at our uh, Houston landing page. Uh, a lot of people have seen this before. We feel very at home and comfortable here. Um, but yeah, we're talking about ZFS today. So the Cockpit Z ZFS Manager. So on first glance, you'll notice nothing major has changed on the look of it. Um, and we've kind of done three kind of main things I want to talk about here that we've added to it. So first of all, some just general quality of life updates. I'm not going to go through each one. Uh, it just makes certain default choices. You'll see the full change log when this is out on July 6th. Um, uh, the next thing we did following in line with the get them out of the command line theme of all these updates, we, you might have noticed now we have this replication tab on the, uh, the, um, the storage pool. So what you can do here is, as we've talked before, with sending ZFS data sets somewhere else and backing up in auto snapshots, that is now all um, in the UI. So you can hit configure replication task and configure everything out. If you just need to do snapshots, you can leave it here. If you want to send it to someone, if you want to send it to multiple places, anyway. So again, don't have to set up ZapZen in the command line anymore. We can do it in the UI. And um, the other big change here, um, people coming from uh, Freenas uh, would feel this is very familiar. Uh, we added the ability to edit the permissions of a data set right from the UI as well. So you can hit edit permissions. The screen will pop up. Select your owner, group, whatever. And it even does quick searching for domain users if you want. So. Leave it as root, maybe we'll go lab group. Apply the permissions. My permissions make no sense, but I'm gonna apply them anyway. And there you go. So, that's it. Not a whole lot changed, but remember, get them out of the command line. So there's another look at the Cockpit ZFS Manager. Not a whole lot has changed. We've just had a couple quality of life and get them out of the command line changes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little tease, peek at it. Uh, remember, these will all be fully released on July 6th. So um, kind of unlike the other two where this one is existing already, we don't really want to push the update live until uh, everything's kind of been completely validated and changed. So marketing was go, go show it to them, show it to them. So we don't have a, 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 an updated package ready for downloading yet, but it's coming very soon, July 6th. And uh, you know what? We'll end on a little fun fact here. Uh, if you look at the screen, you'll notice that it just says ZFS. It doesn't say ZFS plus file sharing anymore because um, we, uh, well, that, I'm going to leave it at that because that kind of hints at uh, what our next module is going to be, what we're going to be talking about in the next few weeks. So uh, catch you guys then.